Well, this is new. I'm actually making a video using my phone, um, which is something that I haven't really done. I've always used my camera, um, but my camera uh, unfortunately does not have battery and I'm really busy, so I'm rushing. And my webcam, I don't know what the hell's happening. It doesn't want to work. Um, so I just resorted to using my phone. Um, and it's been a while since I've done some kind of live action video with the exception of some shit posting. Um, uh, that's because Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has pretty much taken up all my interest in YouTube, you know, making machinimas, which is one thing that I want to talk about, but in the next video that I'm going to record. But this video, I just want to reflect on the fact that I am to now 30 years old. Um, so I just want to ref have a moment to reflect on how it feels to be 30, which frankly doesn't feel any different from yesterday, or the day before, or last year, or the past decade, really. Um, but one thing that I do want to just ramble on about is that when I was really little, I started writing um, Nintendo fan fiction, which is how I got into writing in the first place. My first uh, Nintendo fanfic, the first story I ever wrote was called Super Yoshi, and it was about Yoshi being a superhero instead of Mario. And he saved the princess, and I had this whole plan that he was going to have like this epic series, it was going to be like a 12-part series, and he'd be a superhero, and I pretty much carried that on until the end of middle school, or like somewhat into the beginning of high school. And then I became more serious and developed more original ideas, and then I became a writer. And I thought that by now, uh, when I was, by the time I would reach 30, I'd be published. And that was actually one of my goals, is to get something published before I reached 30. That didn't happen. I tried, and that did not happen at all. I tried submitting stuff, a bunch of short stories to sci-fi fantasy magazines, online, hardcover. Um, it's just, that didn't happen. And it's funny because, like, you tell yourself, like, I don't care. I don't care. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine that I didn't get my dream. Um, but at the same time, you know, you look at stuff like Forbes 30 on the 30 and other things are like, you know, recognizing writers on their 30. And I just think to myself, like, shit, I didn't get to that. I failed that. Um... And it's funny because it's one of those things that people say, you know, don't compare yourself to other people and stuff like that and look at your accomplishments. And I have accomplished stuff. Uh, last year, I started um, a little group called Galactic Punch Bowl. We do animations and art. And I launched a GoFundMe for Space Hotel, which is our first animation. And it's going to be a web series launched for YouTube. And we have videos up there now. I put the link in the description below and it's also on my homepage, the Galactic Punch Bowl link. And long story short, Space Hotel was something that I had in mind for a long time based on characters, original characters that I created way, way years before. And I finally decided to make it into an animation for YouTube. And um, thing is, we need funding, so you know, if you want to give a dollar or something, you know, to help out with the animation, that'd be great. And uh, to put it sh uh, as brief as possible, Space Hotel, um, I describe it as two things based on the audience. For older audience, I say it's a mix between Doctor Who and The Office. For younger people, I say, oh, it's a mix between Rick and Morty and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. So Space Hotel takes place in the future. It's about this um, floating facility in space called Space Hotel. It picks up, you know, travelers and stuff like that throughout the Milky Way galaxy. And it follows the misadventures of the clerk, the front desk clerk. Uh, his name is Joe McConey. And all the, like, annoying employees and guests that he has to deal with. Um, there's his co-worker who sits next to him named Cricket, uh, who's an alien who just hates humans. He's just completely racist against humans. Um, there's his boss who's really annoying, who, who's really smart, but also like very absent-minded and always asks Joe to do like completely random things that has nothing to do with his job description. And then uh, there's Tops, who is the uh, head of sentient resources, which is like human resources. But um, the irony is that she's an android, so it's 
just funny how the android knows better how to cooperate and handle and manage people than actual people. Um, so that's a lot of fun and that's something that I should be grateful for actually doing and I guess in a way that's something that I should think about more and tell myself yeah I did that you know I'm not in like Forbes 30 under 30 I didn't make a movie under 30 I haven't been published under 30 but I still did a thing and it's there it's uploaded and it has my name on it so as I get older as a creative person um, my attitudes towards finishing something gets very obsessive and compulsive. Um, uh, one example is the Smash Ultimate Endgame Machinima that everyone likes and has been commenting and now I'm getting a lot more subscribers and so um, you know I want to talk about that which in the next video um, I'll do that more. Um, this is just more for me. Um, when I had the idea growing kind of after I saw Endgame and then I wanted to wait because I wanted to wait for more fighters to come out and um, but you know there was no deadline or anything obviously this is something on my time but to me it always feels like a deadline because I tell myself you know you gotta finish it this, this idea just won't go away and you only you can do it the way it's supposed to be done because only you have this unique idea for it and if anyone else does it before you then it's gonna be ruined and I get like that with all my ideas at once it's like that's exactly how it feels to be me I have all these ideas and each idea feels really important and that I need to do right away and so as a result everything just kind of I don't know what that was and so there's a good piece of advice from an unlikely source un unlikely source and that was um, this Instagram post that someone had in their story and it was right before 2020 started and they posted like advice for the signs for each zodiac sign to take into the new year and so I was just like you know I was just lazily browsing through and I'm like I guess I'll read all this and for Pisces they said um, take one thing at a time and so I read that and I was like huh that's that's actually really good advice for someone like me right now. And so the very simple advice of take one thing at a time has actually turned out to be really profound for someone like me because I finally was able to finish the Smash Ultimate video. I was able to just like hone in and focus and like go with the flow with the whole thing and make it a good thing and now everyone likes it and there it is. Because at the end of the day, having one finished thing that looks beautiful is a lot better than having like 50 half-finished ideas that people seldom know about. The second video, which I'll be talking more about machinimas, I probably don't have time to do because I really need to go. I like really need to go right now. Um, so I, I actually like really need to, I just, I just, bye. Bye. Bye.